los días y los meses del año. Los días de la semana. Los días de la semana, obviously, en español, we have el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, el jueves, el viernes, el sábado, el domingo. Los días de la semana, in Spanish calendars, the first day of the week is Monday. So this is a Spanish calendar um, that you would see, and you would see usually domingo at the, at the end like this, and you'll be high, um, in red, and that is the last day of the week for us. So we always say the first day is lunes, and the last day is domingo. And usually we say that's festivo, like a, like a day where there's no work or school, the same with sábado. So the days of the week in Spanish are not capitalized, unlike English. And I know that's kind of weird when you're writing because you feel like it's bad grammar that you need to capitalize, but we don't. So you don't need to capitalize. The days of the week are all masculine in Spanish. So notice that it's L, 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 L. All of them are masculine. And the article is the only thing that changes in the plural form. Okay, so for example, el lunes, you would say los lunes, right? You wouldn't say los lunes says, you would just say los lunes because he already ends in S, so it's already like, he already has that S at the end, so you just say los lunes to mean more than one. El martes, los martes. El miércoles, los miércoles. El jueves, los jueves, el viernes, los viernes. Now, el sábado and el domingo, because they don't have the S at the end, um, then you can add it when you're saying more than one. So, el sábado, los sábados, el domingo, los domingos. If you want to say, I study on Mondays, you would say, yo estudio los lunes. Or, um, you know, or if you want to say, I study Monday, you would say, yo estudio el lunes. Use es, which is the conjugation of the verb ser to express the day. So if you want to say, you know, que día es hoy, which is what day is today, Uh, you would say, hoy es, so you would say es, hoy es martes, hoy es jueves, uh, or whatever. And then mañana, mañana es miércoles, so mañana, uh, tomorrow, es miércoles, okay? So use es. Okay, and now we have los meses del año, so los meses de, del año, we have enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, Junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. The months of the year are not capitalized, again, just like the days, unlike English that you capitalize them. And to express in a certain month, use the preposition N. So like if you want to say, I go to Colombia in January, Or I go to visit my family in, in June, you would say and. So, voy a Colombia en enero, o voy a Colombia en marzo, or whatever. So, use and. Okay, so saying and writing the date in Spanish. So, this, to state the first day of the week, to, to state the first day of the month, you're going to use es el primero de, which is the first of, or el primer día de, which is the first day of. For all other days of the month, use the cardinal numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 31. But only when it's the first day of the month, you're not going to say uno. You're going to say 
For example, if your birthday is on November 1st, you would say, mi cumpleaños es, and I forgot es here, but mi cumpleaños es el primero de noviembre. Okay, so this L should be an S. It's just a little typo here. So mi cumpleaños es el primero de noviembre. So my birthday is on November 1st. Or if you want, if I ask you qué día es hoy, what day is today, and today is actually the first, then you would say hoy es el primero de diciembre. Or you can say hoy es el primer día de diciembre. Okay? So we use primer just like in English, you'd say the first. Uh, to say the day in Spanish, we say, we first say the day, and then we say the month, and then we say the year. Whereas in English, we say the month first, and then the day, and then the year. So in Spanish, it would be el 12 de enero del 2020. And then the abbreviated form would be 12.01.20. And in English, you would say January 12, you know, enero 12 del 2020, and you put January, which is 01, 12, 20. So just pay attention to that in Spanish. Uh, first, we put the date. We write that number. Uh, so, ¿qué día es hoy? Hoy es viernes 5 de mayo. Okay, so we say the, 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 the number first. Instead of saying, like in English, you say, today is Friday, May 5th. In Spanish, we say, hoy es viernes 5 de mayo. So, uh, today is Friday uh, 5 of May. Basically, that's what we say, 5 de mayo. ¿Qué fecha es hoy? Now, fecha means date. So usually when somebody asks you fecha, they, they're asking like the whole day, like they want to know the day of the month and all that, and, and, and the year. So, ¿qué fecha es hoy? So hoy es viernes 5 de mayo del 2020. So hoy es viernes 5 de mayo del 2020. So that del 2020 is of the uh, 2020. Okay, so if somebody asks you, ¿qué día es hoy? Again, you would answer, hoy es jueves, 10 de diciembre, or whatever day it is. ¿Qué día fue ayer? So the word ayer means yesterday, and the word fue means was. So then you start out saying, ayer fue miércoles 9 de diciembre. Yesterday was Wednesday 9 of December because we said it the day the, the number first. ¿Qué día es mañana? What day is tomorrow? Mañana es viernes 11 de diciembre. And notice how none of this, the dates of the month are capitalized. So we, uh, you don't have to do that. ¿Y cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Mi cumpleaños es el 5 de mayo. Es el 5 de mayo. Every day you is todos los días. Never es nunca. On Tuesdays, los martes. So if you want to say I go to school on Tuesdays, you would say voy a la escuela los martes. Often, there are three words you can use. One is frecuentemente, which means also frequently in English. So that mente in English is the equivalent to L-Y, like when you say frequently, and, uh, the, you put the L-Y uh, to make the adverb. So you can say frecuentemente, or you can say a menudo, or con frecuencia. So either one of those mean often. So if you want to say, voy a la escuela con frecuencia, I go to school free often or whatever. On the weekends, so that on in Spanish, we say los. So los fines de semana. So weekends in Spanish is all those words. Fines de semana is weekends. Fines is end, day is off, semana is week. So we say the end of the week. So los fines de semana is weekends. Once in a while is de vez en cuando. De vez en cuando. So, voy a la escuela de vez en cuando. I go to school once in a while. So, voy a la escuela de vez en cuando. 
on Thursday, again, we would say el jueves, el jueves. Always is siempre, always is siempre. Sometimes is a veces, sometimes a veces. When, cuando, cuando. A few times a week, varias veces a la semana. Or you can also say algunas veces a la semana. So varias veces is several times or algunas sometimes, varias veces a la semana o algunas veces. So you can also say varias veces por semana o algunas veces por semana. So just little things like that that you change in Spanish, uh, prepositions and words like that. So you can just play around with it. Uh, so you just pick which one you want to say, but they're both correct. So varias veces por semana or varias veces a la semana. And then rarely, uh, rara vez, and again, the L-Y in Spanish is mente, so raramente, rarely, raramente, o casi nunca o pocas veces. So there's, there you go, there's four words right there for you. So which one do you prefer? I would say to make, to stay with the cognates, I would say rara vez o raramente. But casi nunca en pocas veces also means the same. Muchas gracias. Chao. Prepara.